Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, that song, the choir, was beautiful. Thank you for that. Really enjoyed that. Um, when I was listening to the reading from Isaiah, it took me back <laughs> to a couple of years ago, uh, not quite two years now, uh, November 2016. Um, we had some fires around here. Some of you may remember that. Uh, for, for about a month, uh, you could smell smoke in the air. I was, uh, I have a, an office on that eighth floor in McClung Tower on UT campus, and I could look in every direction, I could see smoke bombs. Uh, and uh, it was, uh, it went on and on for several weeks. Uh, those, th th that burning was the result of a four month long drought, an extraordinary drought in East Tennessee, where, where usually, we usually have a lot of rainfall, but that, that was an extraordinary drought. Uh, at, at some point, it was late November or early December, an immense front came in, hurricane winds, uh, and uh, then uh, it, the, the Smokies caught fire in a big way, Gatlinburg burned, Good parts of Pigeon Forge burned. Uh, I think 14 people were killed. It's over 100 people injured. Several thousand buildings destroyed, home, people's homes. So you'll remember that. What struck me about that was that nobody in the media, when it was on the news, nobody mentioned climate change. <laughs> it's exactly the sort of thing that the climate models predict. Exactly the sort of thing. Now you can't tell on a, in a specific instance whether it was climate change or whether this particular event would have happened without climate change. That's not something that, that's knowable. It's all statistics. But we do know that things like this do occur with greater frequency when there's climate change. Uh, what was really peculiar to me about this is that uh, there was a, the blame was placed on some juveniles who were said to have gone up there and started these things. Turns out that was impossible. The fire started in numerous places and basically the wind was so strong it was blowing down electrical lines and they were sparking and setting fires all over the place. So people wanted to place, place the blame on anything but climate change. Everybody was in denial. The media were in denial. Uh, it, it just, people didn't want to connect that with their lives and yet those kinds of events happening, that was, that was one little tiny event here in East Tennessee, but those kinds of events happening all around the world are a result of our activities. What I want to do here is actually talk some science, but there's a moral, moral point to the science. Uh, and I think the science is not, still not well, un, well enough understood, even by those of you, and I'm sure people in this congregation are not into it. I'm sure John would make sure of that. <laughs> but uh, but there, are, there are facts about the science that I think most, that are not well known that need to be better known. The first thing <clears throat> that we need to admit is that climate change is killing people. Uh, there have been a number of studies on how many people climate change is killing globally, annually, and they all converge on numbers in the hundreds of thousands. So hundreds of thousands of people each year are dying as a result of climate change. Now, what, you, what does that mean? Well, it means people dying from the spread of tropical diseases, from severe weather events, droughts, fires, the kind of thing that we saw here, uh, from crop failures, from uh, heat waves, and, and so on. There, there are a variety of different causes, but statistically, it's hard to, to tease out the mortality rate from this data, but, but there are people who do it and they, they pretty much agree. It's, it's in the hundreds of thousands a year. At current rates, of course, those are increasing as we put more and more carbon into the atmosphere. When you think of this over, say, a century, that's tens of millions of people. Now we're talking about casualties on the order of World War II or World War I. So enormous numbers of human casualties. Um, 
But climate change doesn't stop in 2100. Even if we were to cease all emissions today, the temperature, thank you very much, 